Hello guys and welcome to today's video. So, in today's video I am going to be taking photographs and talking through this amazing building. I'm in a place called Pickford. This is Pickford Chapel and if I didn't say I was in Somerset, which I just mentioned, you would probably think that I was in Switzerland or something. Um, it is actually private property so I am going to be stepping in on the grounds. Those days for me are done. Um, I'm kind of done this location on a whim, so I'm going to read through the history and then interpret it back to you folks at home. Uh, there's a stream that runs down into a mill. Pickford is a stunning little location and we're near Bur Burrington, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but it actually has history dating back to the Saxon times, which is like, wow, mind blowing. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So the chapel that was built nearby was built in the 7th century during the reign of James I. Rickford Pond was used to feed a paper mill and flour mill which was both built in the 18th century. The paper mill produced handmade paper until 1895 and the flour mill was unfortunately destroyed by fire. Rickford, the Swiss like chapel, like I said, sits on the edge of the pond, was built in 1888 to serve as a Baptist chapel. So over time it was known as the Methodist Chapel and eventually closed in the 1960s, which is what, like over 60 years ago? And then basically from 65 until 2017 it served as the Mason Lodge for the Forest of Mendip Somerset Freemasons. So I just wanted to show you this other Swiss little building and if you actually look this is obviously the pond and the river coming from Richard Chapel. You can see it going right underneath this quirky little building and this was used for beer with me sorry this was used uh, it was called the gauge house and it was built in 1895 by the bristol waterworks company underneath it was regulating ways which controlled the flow of the water from ye to Bagged on waterworks, it has an underground pipe that leads to Blagdon Lake just a few miles away. We may head to our lake today. But I just want to show you the stunning, tranquil little village that also has a pub. And that little dimber there is the old mill. It is absolutely peaceful down here. All you can hear is the birds chirping, the water flowing, occasional traffic. But what a stunning little place. Opening times. Monday to Thursday is 5 p.m. till 11 p.m. Food is 6 p.m. until 8. Friday to Saturday, 12 until 1, and then 12 until 2, and then 9 until, and then Sunday and bank all days. It's one of those pubs, isn't it, where I think there's either a lot of locals, or if you do see it and you want to stop as a tourist, it's one of those. We're a stunning little place though. I decided to come down to Blagdon Lake because it was literally five minutes away from Ripton, so like a mile's drive. And look at this wowza! Absolutely incredible. 
stunning. Like you can't see it on the camera, but it's sort of got like a glaze and a mist to it. Oh, absolutely stunning. It always seems to me that the unexpected locations I hit are the most stunning. And wow, you know what I mean? I don't feel like I'm in Northern Ireland nice, but Somerset, I feel like I'm on a lock in Scotland all over again, which I was yearning to do this year, but circumstances, but this, yeah, this is just something special. And that's a wrap for me, it's a bit of a shorter video, isn't it? But it was quite an interesting one. Um, if you did like the video and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more van life content like this. Where I find random hidden gems like this. The chapel was cool. Some information, I suppose. If all of my uh, subscribers could uh, please smash the like button and leave a comment down below because you know how it helps me. I want to say a big shout out to everybody who's been supporting me in the community tab. Been on a bit of a downer, but trying to keep my head up. Shouts out to Claire for being a YouTube member. I've kept that on the down low, but it's there. If you want to support me in other ways you can you don't have to um watch the next video that will appear on my outro um and yeah have a blessed day and i will see you all in the next video peace